my name is Carl Schlams. I'm the lead herpetologist of Dangerous Creatures here at Shark Seawall. I've been a herpetologist here for 14 years. And this is Murdoch, our black throated rock monitor that's giving me some love here. Okay, so this is Steve. Steve is a northern blue tongue skink. Uh, I don't know if you can see his tongue. Oh, he's not doing it now, but he's got a blue tongue. That's basically why they're called blue tongue skinks. Uh, he's from Northern Australia. Uh, beautiful little lizard. So lizards are important to the environment. They form part of the food chain, they are eaten by snakes, they are eaten by birds of prey um, as well as they eat a lot of insects, insects that we often don't like, like roaches, things like that. Um, something like this will actually even eat a small mouse. Uh, they are quite predatory and they will eat small mice, uh, chickens, not this particular one, but your monitor lizards, things like that. They will eat chickens, chicken eggs. This is a white-throated rock monitor. Uh, this particular one was actually rescued um, from a, a garage in uh, North Coast Road in Durban. He was found in the garage. What actually happens a lot of the time is animals are transported by vehicles. They climb into a vehicle because it's warm and they will get taken to areas where they don't actually belong. So he didn't belong there. He doesn't belong in the area. We get quite a few of them from Zululand, that area. Um, and he's been with us for about a year and a bit now. He's fairly tame. You can see he's hung clicking. He's quite relaxed with us now. And he's he's gonna probably stay with us because we don't really know where he came from originally. I enjoy working with the lizards um, simply because they tame down very well. Uh, we can handle them. They don't seem to mind it, and also they're very intelligent. Um, they take food from your hand and they get used to you and just tame down really well. So this is a Nile monitor. Nile monitors occur close to water systems. They love being around water. Um, they don't tame down very well. They're actually quite, uh, quite aggressive lizards. They don't really like being around people. You can see he's got his mouth open. I'm not holding him like the last lizard. He's, he will bite me if he gets a chance. And they use their long tail to also whip very common around dams, water systems. These guys eat fish, crabs, small rodents, birds, fledgling birds, and they are quite, they grow quite big. They grow up to six foot, so they, they become really large lizards. Fortunately, they also are used a lot um, for food, as a food source, so they're hunted um, for their skin and for food, and also um, in the meat trade. But there seems to be quite a few of them that do well. And, uh, this guy is a rehab animal. He was brought to us by one of the snake rescuers. He was found at a house. And um, we are going to rehab him and release him pretty soon. So, this particular lizard was actually gravid. You can see she's quite thin and there's quite a bit of skin there. So, gravid means she was full of eggs um, and she was egg bound. She couldn't pass those eggs. She was found at a house trying to lay those eggs and the people did the right thing. They called the snake catcher um, from the area and he removed it and brought it to her. It's like veterinary care. Um, some of the eggs were laid, um, but some of the eggs had to be surgically removed from the animal. Best thing to do if you find something that you aren't sure of, call your local snake catcher. They, they will help and they will rescue the animal. So this is Murdoch. He's a black-throated rock monitor. He's been with us for quite a few years. Um, they live up to 25 years and they get to be the heaviest monitor in Africa. So they're actually from Tanzania. And as you can see, they turned down really well. He is quite an old animal now, and he's quite cold this morning, so you can see he's quite slow, moving quite slowly. 